Trolls World Tour. It is uh, one of the movies that I, I don't remember exactly how it coincided if, if they released it and then quarantine happened or if it was supposed to release and quarantine happened before that. And so uh, it wound up going, I think, straight to uh, to your streaming services for, uh, for a small purchase price. It was definitely one of the big anticipated movies for children this season. And uh, Pure Cosmetics being the uh, absolute gem of a, a company that they are. And I say that so sincerely because I love their products and I really love them. They do a lot of really cool collaborations with different fun, um, I don't wanna call them like children series, but I guess technically they are. They've done Pure Times Barbie, Pure and My Little Pony, Pure and Trolls. They had a Trolls palette when the first movie released and this time they released an entire collection. Well, I did a haul video and showed you guys, but over Memorial Day, I did pick up the entire big, nice bundle set. This bad boy retails for $98. It comes with five eyeshadow palettes, a face palette and a lip gloss. And it is packaged absolutely adorably. They look like little records. They have like little like tabs to, to denote what they are. And then you pull it out and it's a little record and the palette is all nice and packaged inside. So I figured with all these palettes, which you can buy separately, there is nothing that says that you have to buy them as a collective. So uh, the best way for me to review it appropriately for you guys as the viewers would be to do an entire look themed off of the palette that I'm using that day. We're gonna release them every day this week and we're gonna go in order because why not? So today's look is going to be our pop look. I'm really excited about this one. We, we came up with a, a good idea for the outfits for each one of the looks. They're very different. Some of them are gonna be really extreme because we're gonna go hard into it. But I really wanted to give you guys like the full aesthetic of like, all right, so if I were gonna be like, like making a pop look, what would I do? The pop palette, of course, is pink naturally. It comes with six really gorgeous, nice pink and peach shades. I really like this palette. A lot of my eye looks typically are pink because I really enjoy using pink. But yeah, I think we can do some cool stuff with this. Now, me personally, I love using pink eyeshadows and things like that, but I don't own a lot of pink clothing. So uh, the aesthetic, you guys will see that at the end of the video. You can tell from the top of it that it's, uh, it's black. So I figured black with some shiny glittery heels and some pink eyes and we can make a little pop look for you. Now, I also wanna show you guys how the face palette looks. So the face palette is called, I believe, top of the charge, yep. So that's what the little face palette looks like. And then inside, I will say I'm a little nervous about this because they're all glitter based. When I choose my bronzer, uh, which I normally use bronzer as contour, when I choose that and when I choose my blushes, I normally try and choose um, a little bit more matte shades rather than these hyper, what I would call them hyper glitter shades. They look like they honestly could all be highlight shades, but they're not. So we're just gonna go for a full glitter look today. Cause I mean, if there's one to experiment with, it'd be pop. Now I did do a base of a really nice little pink lipstick but I'm going to use the um, the lip gloss that they gave us too over that just so we can get a full feel uh, initially for how all of these look. And if I really like this palette, I'll use it for all of the looks, but we'll see what happens with today. Now I've talked enough, so let's dig into it. So I'm just going in with the lip gloss right now. If you could understand what I'm saying, it sounded like I was like chewing marbles. It's not, it's not sticky, surprisingly. Um, it's one of my biggest complaints about lip glosses. I don't normally wear them because I don't like my face feeling like I have um, jelly or super glue on them. <laughs> like my hair gets stuck to it and bugs get stuck to it. And I just, I don't want to deal with that. So I don't normally wear lip gloss, but it's actually a very, just a kind of like soft, almost like a like a chapstick feeling. Like I have like a, this one lip serum that I use almost every day now and I put it on before I do my makeup and it kind of has the same consistency as that. So I actually really like that. And it's a nice neutral color. I think if you have a bold color underneath it, it'll be like a, it'll do a good job of accenting it and making it just look shiny and glossy. So big fan actually, not sticky. Okay, so that's not actually as glittery as I was worried it was gonna be on the face. It applies really smoothly too. I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot. I really was worried it was gonna be a lot glitter, more glittery, but it really, it really is not. Now we're gonna do the blush. The blush, I think I probably won't use for every look, but this one is super pink. Like, can you see it on the brush? It's like a very pink shade. So I think for today's look, it's gonna work well. Oh, wow, that's, that's glittery. That's, that, can you, can you see the sparkle? That could be a highlighter and a blush all in one. Not bad though. If I had to choose, I would rather have a glittery <laughs> blush than a glittery bronzer because I use my bronzers as contour because my skin is such a light shade that I don't wanna go in with like a heavy contour. I would rather just be like a little bit of like dimension added with a more natural color. So that's why I, I do that. So that's why I prefer it to be more matte than I, I do glitter, but still not bad. It is glittery, but it's not like, 
it's not overwhelming. It's not terrible. I definitely, for some of the other ones, which I think have more like orange colors and stuff like that, I probably will not use that shade for it, but I will probably use it again throughout the series. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. That one could kind of work with any of them. Honestly, I would have probably saved it if I had realized like, I mean, I know it's a neutral looking color, but if I had realized how neutral it was gonna be, I probably would have just saved it from one of the later palettes that is more of a neutral shade and done like one of my more pink shades for highlight, but live and learn, say la vie. Face makeup is done. Let's do the eyes now. I will say, Nikki and I both talked about this cause he just did product shots. The texture on the top of these is like, it's like those like little rubber balls when you're kids, like the really sticky plastic that like your fingers drag down. So like getting it out of the box was really hard. And it just like, I can already see just from my brushes laying near it, it's gotten like, like it's absorbed the dirt. So I, do, I don't know why that was the choice for packaging, but I'm not a fan of that. Like. Some people talk about like textures of food freaks them out, like textures of things freak me out. And this is one that's very disconcerting for me. So like, I don't, uh, I don't like it. But that's that's my one complaint so far. That is what we're working with. Now what I'm thinking, this is my game plan. I'm thinking we're gonna do a wide base of the hyper pink one cause we're going pop with this. We want it to be real pink. So I think we're gonna do that. I think we're probably uh, going to do, probably this is like a blending shade. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of glitter. There's a lot of glitter in this one. So it's, it'll be a lot glittery, more glittery than what I normally do. I'm probably gonna do this on my outer corner. I'm thinking this for a nice like uh, lid shimmer and then that for like a highlight color and the inner corner color. That means we probably will not touch this little orange guy. Maybe if I'm feeling adventurous, I'll try and find a place for him. But I think using five of the six is not a bad thing. You really, very rarely do I use every color in a palette. So, so that's the game plan. Let's jump in. All right. It's a moment of truth. Let's see how this works. I feel like there's this moment of anxiety I get before I use any palette, especially when I'm on camera. I'm like, I wonder like, is it gonna be worth it? Like, I don't wanna be like, oh, I hate this. But sometimes that happens. I mean, we all know, especially as makeup lovers, you're like, wow, this was very underwhelming, but hyper pigmented. Do you guys see that? Oh my goodness. Okay, good start. That's a good start. A lot of fallout on the pan though. So we'll see how that works. Definitely some fallout. I can already see some on my cheek, but really doing a good job of sticking. It's so hard not to be biased when it's a makeup company that you really genuinely love the products of. Like Pure is one of those companies that I don't think I've ever bought a product for them where I haven't enjoyed it, which is why I'm willing to. I mean, I got a great deal because I, I got it on the Memorial Day sale, but I really was considering buying it full price, but I got a really good price on it. I got, you know, 35% off. So I wound up paying about $60 for the bundle set, but $98, I, I was really considering it. If I were to recommend trying a brand that you haven't tried yet, I would recommend Pure just because they are one of my favorites and I think that they are very underappreciated in the beauty community. I've said that in some palette reviews before, but that doesn't mean, it, not everything's gonna be a hit or a miss for uh, for our company. So we still have to review it all. We still have to use our deductive reasoning skills to uh, to determine if this one is worth it. Do we match? I like it. I, I'm, I'm a big fan. I like the pink. It's cute. It's good color. And it's got, you know, once again, it's got it's got some shimmer in there, there's no doubt. But when you put it on your eyes, like you can see it, like you get just like a little bit of reflective, reflectiveness here and there, but it's not overwhelming, which means I think that it is a very workable shade because normally I wouldn't use a glitter shade to do what I just did here, but I, I don't think it's overwhelming, so I like it. All right, let us move on to, I'm gonna do the light pink shade, which is a lot more glittery in the, um, in the pan, so we're gonna see how that one works. But I'm gonna use that to blend into my brow bone. It's honestly kind of peachy too. Oh yeah, duh. okay, I already can tell that's much more glittery. Pretty though. It's, it's doing a great job of kind of blending out and smoothing some of the lines and stuff where I went sloppily in with the pink. Yeah, that did a great job of kind of blending into each other. I like it. Yeah, and it's honestly, it's glittery enough that I'm not even sure I'm gonna wind up doing a brow highlight. I might, but I don't know if I necessarily need to. So we'll kind of, we'll, we'll figure out how the rest of it goes and then uh, we'll make our decision from there because I'm not sure I'm gonna need it. So let's go ahead and jump into the darker color. We'll do our outer corner. These colors are doing a great job of stacking onto one another, I will say. And that is one of my biggest compliments to Pure is pretty much every palette, eyeshadow, anything I've used from them is normally incredibly buildable, which I think is definitely um, something that's important when you're looking for a good eyeshadow palette. So I like, I write, I, I really, I really like it so far. All right, I'm gonna do uh, the same darker shade on my lower lash line, a little bit of the pink over that too. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do concealer to clean it up or if I just wanna put this color on top of it. I'm gonna say no. And I don't know if that's the right decision. If 
I'm being honest. I'm going with no. I don't think that the concealer is going to make that huge of a difference and that's why I'm going with no. I could regret that later, but you know what? You make your decision and then you stick to it. You just gotta, you just gotta go for it. Let's put our little glitter shade on here. It probably would have done better if I had put the concealer on it, if I'm being honest. But it's still pretty. I like it a lot. I'm gonna do a little bit more of the dark on the outside of it. It's honestly, the darker shade is less um, noticeable than I thought it was going to be. So I cleaned it up just a little bit off camera. I did exaggerate it just a little bit to kind of give it a point on the outside. And now I think the last step that we were looking at is just doing that center bright color with the little trolls hands going like that. We are going to just do that on the inner corner and we're gonna do, I think still a little bit on the brow bone. I think that's going to work very nicely. Yeah, that's a really pretty like champagne glitter shade. So I think that would actually play really nicely too with the orange that we didn't touch. And like I said, I mean, it's not that I don't think it's a gorgeous color. It's, it's one of the few matte shades in the palette, but um, I just didn't feel like it was gonna work with what I was kind of vibing with. So it'll be for use for another time. All right, let's do it with some, you know, I can't tell you how it looks until I see it with mascara. So let's do some, 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 some mascara. I was gonna say eyeliner, but uh, I'm not doing eyeliner today because I don't mentally have that in me. All right, guys, so this is the final product. It's actually a lot more subtle than I thought it was going to be. I know that's funny with my eyes being literally entirely bright pink, but I mean, I just was expecting it to be like even a little bit more like electric. But really when you look at the colors, they're very workable pink shades. And so I really like it. I, I look forward to at the end of the series being able to rank which palettes were my favorite. I have an idea of which ones I think I would choose to be my favorite. And honestly, as much as I love pink, this would probably be one of the ones on lower on the list just because I feel like these shades are not necessarily like really revolutionary, if that makes sense. I feel like there are a lot of palettes out there where you can find similar shades to the ones that are included in this particular palette. Doesn't mean that it's not necessarily worthwhile, especially if they start going on sale. I know they were on sale for like $12 a piece um, at Ulta over Memorial Day weekend. That being said, um, there are definitely some palettes in this collection that I think have some colors that are a little bit more tricky to find. And if they play as well as I hope that they will, they will definitely rank higher. So yeah, I like the palette, but I can't wait to see how the rest of the collection turns out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, definitely uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you see as we post all the, the other uh, palettes that will be coming the rest of the week. I'm really excited. I know the Funk palette, we've got a really cool outfit picked out. The Techno palette, I, the colors are super cool and I can't wait to see how that look turns out. But uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the page out an absolute ton and will hopefully bring a few more awesome people to our page and hopefully uh, they'll be inspired to join the Dark Angel family as well. So other than that, I hope you guys are all doing well and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.